Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a coups. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Welcome back to my channel. This is Diana. Um, today I want to talk to you about some things that I'd like to see in Mass Effect 4, as well as a story premise idea that I think is kind of intriguing. But before we get to that, I do want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for 4,000 subscribers. I cannot even believe I've hit 4,000 subscribers. Old lady talking about gaming, and I'm actually picking up subscribers every week. It's kind of shocking. Uh, and on the note of thank yous, I also want to say um, a really heartfelt thank you for all of the kind messages of support I have received in the wake of my father's death last week. It's been one week, um, one week today. Um, lost my train of thought there for a second. <laughs> anyway, on to happier topics. Today I want to talk to you about Mass Effect 4. Let's get to it. I was a latecomer to the Mass Effect series. I was not into sci-fi at the time, but I loved the Dragon Age world, so eventually someone, I think my daughter, convinced me to try Mass Effect, and I immediately regretted not trying it earlier. I knew right away it would become one of my all-time favorites. Mass Effect as a series got almost everything completely correct. Even the ending being clumsy does not diminish the series, for me at least. In thinking about what I believe Mass Effect 4 would need in order to be a worthy addition to the series, and not have in order to avoid some of Andromeda's issues, I think I've settled on five things. There's probably more than five, but right out of the gate, these are the things I think would be important. And at the end of this list, I'll briefly discuss a premise and plot idea for Mass Effect 4 that I think sounds really promising. A good story needs a plot to provide the action and movement, and it needs characters with wants and needs and conflicts, and it needs a good setting because the setting provides the explanation for why the plot and characters exist in the world. The other day I watched a video somebody put up about what they'd like to see in Mass Effect 4. The idea was all about how our player character would be a bounty hunter flying around the galaxy in a cool ship, getting in rad fights on interesting missions, and amassing riches and working their way up to be a big shot in the galaxy. And I thought, that sounds like a fun game, but it doesn't sound like a Mass Effect game. Arguably, the most important things your story should be built around is a theme. There should always be an overarching theme that the story calls back to and other minor themes relate to. The theme is the conversation between the storyteller and the listener, and it should prompt you to consider and ask yourself questions. The theme is the reason the story means something to the listener. Without an identifiable theme, the plot will feel pointless and the story just will not be compelling. I think the next Mass Effect entry needs to stay true to Mass Effect's legacy of a lead character that values loyalty, honor, and sacrifice. Someone who believes that doing the right thing is always the correct action, even when it's the hard thing. I'm not asking for Shep 2.0. They can arrive at that place of honor and sacrifice from a very different path. But there are plenty of games where being number one with the most loot is the goal, and I'd like to see Mass Effect 4 stay true to the trilogy's service over self theme. I'm working on another video right now exploring the themes of the Mass Effect trilogy and the questions that the game seems to be asking us to consider. But for this video, this need to have a meaningful theme is my most important want for Mass Effect 4. Yes, I started with my number one ask, so sue me.
Mass Effect 4 should be an open world to the degree that Dragon Age Inquisition is an open world, by which I mean I'd like to explore more than Mass Effect allows you to, but I think Andromeda suffered for the world being too open. It could have used some tightening up. I'd like to see a Mass Effect 4 in which the maps are larger and there's some room built into the game to meander and make some cool discoveries within the worlds, while still having a pretty linear story, because I think overall Mass Effect is better when it's telling a linear story. As for the Mako, I know people either love it or hate it. I was the world's worst driver in Mass Effect 1, but I like the driving in Legendary, so I'm all about having some cool wheels to explore those larger maps that I'm asking for. I'd like to see the Mako in Mass Effect 4. I'd also like to see some more nuance and depth in the morality checks, and I dislike the terms Paragon and Renegade. I realize it's hard to find a balance on this because personal values are subjective and are so can be so different from person to person, but I'd like to see Mass Effect 4 have some more depth in this area. And in that same vein, I'd like to see at least a couple of really tough dialogue checks. Checks where your character is presented with a choice that has irrevocable ramifications or consequences. Something meaty that will really make the player pause and consider over the decision they're about to make. Because I think that's where the big moments in a game are created the moments that you'll be mulling over later in bed. I'd like to see Mass Effect 4 have combat like Andromeda. Andromeda had lots of things that didn't get right, but the combat was not one of them. I thought the combat in Andromeda was just right and a lot of fun. Okay. Those are the five things that I'd like to see in Mass Effect 4. Now, as far as the story or premise for Mass Effect 4, I happen to be a fan of the dark energy and entropy premise that was floated as a premise during the development of the Mass Effect trilogy and alluded to repeatedly in Mass Effect 2. I didn't come up with this, obviously, but I've been giving it a lot of thought recently. There's a real-life theory called the Big Crunch which is a hypothetical scenario for the ultimate fate of the universe. And that theory says that the universe is expanding at a given rate and eventually will reach an apex and then reverse and begin to contract and eventually will collapse in on itself, followed by the reforming of another universe that will begin its expansion, and so on and so on. In the Mass Effect world, biotic abilities are created using element zero nodules embedded, or in the case of the Asari, naturally occurring, in body tissues to create mass effect fields. Element zero also produces dark energy, and dark energy is the driver of the ongoing expansion of the universe in the big crunch process I just described. Entropy is the method by which that energy moves throughout the universe and creates chaos and eventual collapse. Only sufficiently advanced organic cultures manipulate ESO, mass effect fields, and dark energy for biotic purposes. So, what if the Reapers were actually trying to prevent the collapse of our galaxy? I am the Catalyst. I thought the Citadel was the Catalyst. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps I control the Reapers. They are my solution. to what? Chaos. What if that's what we find out after the Reapers are neutralized? What if our galaxy is on the downward curve of the big crunch process and the catalyst had been tasked all those millennia ago with trying to find a way to stop it? I'm going to do a whole video on this topic, but in the meantime, if you want a word picture of what I'm talking about here with the catalyst thought process in creating the Reapers, Google the parable of the paperclip maximizer. It's an explanation of a real theory called instrumental convergence that could perfectly explain the Reapers. This isn't a story, of course, it's just a premise for one, but I think it suggests a lot of possibilities for the series and is worth a thought. I'm going to end this video before I overcomplicate this even more, but that's where my brain is going regarding Mass Effect 4. Keep an eye out for an upcoming video expanding on this story idea and tell me what you think in the comments. And I hope you'll hit the like button as well. Don't forget to keep an eye out for my live streams. See you soon. Enjoy your day. Cheers.